Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone love into this. Your mom in the fucking sand. What is? Oh yeah, because we were talking about what is like your biggest Molly binge. So I did, uh, you know, like I I told the story on uh, Joey Diaz, and like I want to thank you, obviously, but like you know, you guys, Barstool Sports. And Joey Diaz is like responsible for all the fans of our podcast. No, you, know? you have a great pod. I had the best time on your podcast. For every Thank for you. people that don't know, if you're watching this, I did it uh, recently an episode of Pajama Pants. It was a really good time. Thanks, and yeah, Christina P's done it. She's done it, yeah. We, uh, you know, yeah. So just thanks so much. But on Joey Diaz, I told this story. So like, it's been over eight years since I've had a drink or done Molly or whatever. But basically, when I was, I started drinking and partying and shit when I was like twelve, and then by the time I was twenty two. I was doing so much coke that I was like, I need to stop drinking because like when I would drink, I'd always be like, I'm not doing coke. And then you get drunk and you're like, all right, where's the coke? You know, or like, I'll, yeah. whatever. so I stopped doing coke. I stopped drinking at 22 to be like, I'm not doing coke anymore. So I stopped drinking for nine months. And when I started drinking again, I was like, okay, I'm going to drink again. If I ever do coke again, I'm never having another drink. Like, that's it. I'm done. And so then like a couple months later, I found Molly and I was like, well, this isn't Coke. Yeah. So yeah. So I just started fucking doing Molly like nonstop. And you know, I was, I was partying so hard that I went to Vegas for two weeks and I came back like 18 months later with just like a suit. Like I went to Vegas with a suitcase and like 18 months later came back like, huh? Like where? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like I was all in. So like, you know, that's a good, that's a place to go all in too. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's like, I left New York City, like the city that doesn't sleep because I was like, oh, this isn't enough. Like you guys don't party enough hard here. enough, you know, like it's not. Yeah, because I wasn't working. I didn't have a job. And I, w I had been working since I was six years old doing acting. And once I had time off from like Sopranos was done, I was like, fuck it, let's party. Like, when you, can I ask you this before yeah. you get to the story, when you're in that 18 month period in Vegas, do you get calls from like a, an accountant or business manager that's like, hey man, like you're just, you're only spending so earning what happened was well it was like right after soprano so i was i was all right but yeah. what happened was um i went to vegas to play in the world series of poker and when i went for uh the two weeks i ended up getting so they have like the main event and there were i don't know make it up six thousand people or something but i remember i got like 275th place and that paid over forty thousand dollars so i took that forty thousand dollars and i put it in an account and i was like yo i'm in my early 20s i'm single I'm just going to get a place in Vegas. I'll pay the rent like from this fucking money. And uh -huh. when it's gone, I'll leave. Like, so it's yeah. like, it never happened. And yeah, next thing I know, it's like 18 months later. 18 I'm, months. And I was, dude, I was doing so much Molly. Like it was How does just, it affect you? Because I only remember. It's on, ecstasy. Yeah, I know. But I, I, I only did it like once or twice. And it was over 20 years ago. I just like, it's more like I don't have the memory. Uh, yeah of of the so like for, as someone who did it like full body yeah best you've ever felt everything's amazing you don't have any like bad thoughts in your head ever no negative thoughts you don't even understand why anybody would dude that's so great yeah right but then you know you get to the point where like you go on these like three day fucking benders and then you're waking up and you're like throwing up black for two days and mm -hmm. like you can't eat and you don't want to talk to anybody and you're just fucking super depressed and this so it's you know it's not all fun yeah but uh so the last time you know i start even like when i first started with drugs i would take a lot so even when i first started doing molly i was like oh you know three or five or whatever so cut to when i'm 28 so i had probably been doing it for like a good five years and i and i did it before too when i was younger like ecstasy and this but i was really like it was a habit <laughs> you mm -hmm. know like a molly habit and um is coming I, would coming off be really strong? Yeah, that's when you're like really depressed. Yeah, and and you know, but I that's the thing, right? I wouldn't let myself come off while I was awake. Yeah. So then you just wake up, you know, you sleep for whatever eight to sixteen hours, however long you could sleep for. Shit. And then you wake up and you feel like shit. You can't eat. You hate. Uh, you don't want to talk to anyone. You don't want to see anyone. Like everything is just depressing. So that's when I would take the Percocets because I'm like, oh, I, I I'm literally in pain. Yeah. And I would just be like, oh, well, I take these Percocets and then I feel better. Um, but my, so the last time I did Molly or drank, it was my 28th birthday and I was with a bunch of friends. So I, so what happened was I show up to my friend's place and we're going to a concert and I take, I'm like, I'm going to take five Molly. So whatever, it's Friday at like six o'clock. I take five Molly. Now it's time to leave for the concert at whatever time, you know, make it up at Friday at 10 o'clock. 
I take five more and I'm like, I'm going to be fucking rolling my balls off for this concert. Like I want to be on the moon. Holy shit. Yeah. So now what I do is I would always have a ginger ale bottle with me full of tequila. So mm. I take the ginger ale bottle with the tequila, like, you know, not maybe like four shots of tequila or something, maybe a little more. And I, I crack five Molly in there and I'm like, I could sip on this during the concert if it starts to go down, like my, my high starts yeah. to go down or if we're somewhere after or whatever. So you're I'm, just fucking beaming right now, right? Oh, I'm on the, and it's my birthday. So like my friends are there to see me and they walk in, they're yes. hugging you and they're like, oh, this yes. is your, yeah, uh, you're, you couldn't be like, you know, it's, it's, everything's amazing. So we're walking to Madison Square Garden and we get to the front where like the security is and I could not be in a better place. And I hear like, and by the way, like I'm not worried at all about people recognizing me because I look like a fucking, I have like a scarf, uh, sunglasses, like I'm all, uh, you know, like I'm a maniac. And somebody goes, uh, some like security or like cop even was like, hey, and like to me, and I was like, uh, and you're just, your heart drops. And I'm like, oh fuck, this is it. Like, cause you know, you're thinking all crazy shit. But in, in that split second, I'm like, oh, it's all over. Like I'm, I'm yeah, busted I'm or whatever. Yeah. And the guy goes, you can't bring that in. And he points at the ginger ale with the fucking Molly on it, uh, in it. So I was like, okay. And I was so relieved that I just fucking shot it back. So now I'm on 15 Molly and I'm in Madison Square Garden and I'm thanking people for coming to my birthday. Whew. Like literally telling people like, thank you for, for being here for, for, for me. me. And it's like, this Matt. is my thing. Yeah. It's a fucking concert. At Madison Dude. Square Garden. So That's then like six, five. Yeah. All, all about living life 365, <laughs> especially back in the day. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, dude. <laughs> and I, so then I, I ended up taking about 35 Molly because I stayed up until, um, like that Sunday or Monday or whatever. And you know, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not because it was only like one every like two hours to get myself back and I didn't take it like that, like spaced out perfectly, but it was like, you know, I would pop two, chill for three hours, then pop one and then pop two. And it was just kind of like keeping yourself. Yo, that's a lot, bro. Keeping yourself going. Yeah. And chill. But like, you know, what's weird when I look back on that shit for me, it's not even the Molly that I'm like, I smoked like eight packs of cigarettes. Really? That which day? to me makes me. Oh, like, oh, like I would just, when I'd be on Molly, I would just have six fingers. Like yeah. I was always fucking. And Coke too. It's like, you're always smoking. A cigarette. And when I look back on that, because the Molly, at least you go, well, here's the risk. Here's the reward. Yeah. Right. Where when I'm like, I smoked eight packs of cigarettes, the nothing like, yeah, you get nothing like, you know, at the, at the time it's fucking great or whatever. But like, I look back at the Molly and I go, you know, I, I am, I'm happy. I had those experiences and whatever, where I look back on the cigarettes and I go, man, those, those, I would have friends who would party with me and not do the, the same amount. I had a couple of friends who could, but there were a couple of friends who were like, who didn't smoke cigarettes their hangovers weren't even close to as bad as people who smoked cigarettes. Like cigarettes fuck, fuck you up. They fuck you up. Yeah. yeah. I used to remember when I smoked, I smoked for fuck. I'm such a fucking moron. I started smoking at 25, which I just, I just think it's so dumb because everybody that I knew that smoked, smoked from like, <laughs> like a teen, you know, and they're like, that's how I got hooked. I'm like, oh, I'm past that. I'm going to start now. But I started because I was, um, I was a messenger here in LA like a like when you message packages and i was so depressed i was like i should start smoking to like deal with this and it was such it was such a fucking bummer and i and then i started smoking around stand up so i i took the like what i started as you know doing this horrible job which it was horrible horrible yeah. and the pay was so fucking like one time I, they paid me for like after like a week and it was like less than two hundred dollars i was like what the fuck is this the guy goes easy on the language okay like it's what he told me when i go the fuck are you talking about man but so then i would smoke before and after sets and i remember when i would go on the road and do it and then go home they'd open your suitcase and the stink like it, the smell of the suitcase was just like it, it would just smell rotten and dirty but what i i had lunch yesterday with a friend and that didn't know my ODing story so I, I told the story and then it reminded me that I also, <laughs> I went hardcore like a few months before that and blacked out completely like lost time and everything. And it was a big warning and I was like, nah. <laughs> so, and I, I did it going to a concert too. I went to a Clint Black concert, a country singer because the <laughs> girl I was dating liked country and her family, friends like, yeah. They, so we went down and I did GHB at this motherfucker's concert. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and 
They yeah, had, that's what it's meant for, I think. They had hired a driver <laughs> to drive us uh, because we were, even though we were teens, like we were like <laughs> junior, senior, they, you know, it was like they, they didn't want us driving to the concert. And I think they knew, they didn't think we were going to be doing fucking drugs. They just were like, they're going to have a beer or something, you know? So I remember that we're at this concert. And I'm like, I don't even like country music. <laughs> <laughs> like doing the, the shots of it. And I probably did mix it with, was like always, even the drug dealers would tell you, like the people that you bought the drug, probably because they wanted to keep selling you drugs. They were like, don't drink when you take this shit. You know, they like, it was known to be like dangerous and possibly fatal. And I still would be like, yeah, I can have a little bit. And so I went to this concert. I may have sneaked the GHB, which is like, you know, why it's an issue. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was two other times that I blacked out horribly. So that was one time before I OD'd, I'm saying. One time I was at the concert and what happened was when we got in the, they, 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 had, they had hired like somebody to drive us in like a Sprinter van or something, you know? So I got in, in it to go back and when I, I just woke up and we were back. And I remember the, my girlfriend being like, yo, like you were out, out. That was weird. And I was like, how long has it been? It had been like a couple hours, you know? And I'd I completely like blacked. And I hadn't drank a lot. I had just combined the two. Yeah. And then another time <laughs> was bad. Another time I uh, took a girl to a hotel What'd you do, bud? And I was like, hey, <laughs> you're about 120, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, because it was great. It was it was great sexual drug. Yeah. You know, it was it was like a full, like, like you're describing Molly. I mean, GHB was like that full body high. And like when you would come, your fucking eyeballs would come out of your asshole. Like it was just fucking <laughs> insanely like intense. And we both did it and we both blacked out and uh, lost like a few hours. And I was like, that was, a, that was a risky one. And <laughs> that, like yeah. we both were like, what time is it? What day is it? Like, that was scary. That I could tell Christina's never heard this story because she looks shocked. She does. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah, that, and like, I'm so, at the time I'm so young and stupid that like these are clear warning events where I'm like, yeah, just keep pushing it, man. You know, keep trying. Hello, and thank you for watching that highlight. Uh, if you want to see more of those, we have them. They're provided for you. So enjoy. Just do a deep dive like you're trying to study us. Click on these and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and then they'll just be delivered to you. You can watch them when they come out. Please do it.